Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy, and it's what? It's Wednesday morning. Yesterday, we spent a little bit of time cleaning up this trailer. state it's in right now so we've uh i don't know this had this had a lot less than we thought <laughs> well it was a lot shoved in there we got rid of most of it honestly yeah um, yeah we just want to be able to use this for whatever we actually we want to be able to find whatever we come in here to look for so yeah, yeah. so we have that was not possible yeah we have tons of hangers and we have a yeah. couple of boxes over there that we're going to be giving away but you might be asking why we have so many hangers. <laughs> Kathy used to do a lot of JBF, which is a consignment sale for kids' clothes, right? Yeah, that's why we have all those and bins too. And we that's would need to have our own hangers, and that's why, yeah, Get that's why we have all these too. bins, um, which we don't really need much anymore because we have don't really do JBF it. much <laughs> anymore. But uh, yeah, today, this morning, we've already dropped the kids off at school. And we're going to head out and go do some fun stuff, right? Well, I don't know how funny it is. <laughs> Part of what was cleaning in there was like we got a couple bins ready to go to like Once Upon a Child and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, this is for Play-Doh's closet and Once Upon a Child. So we're going to go stop by there, see if we can get anything at all for any of this stuff. Otherwise, um, the back of our truck is already full of stuff to go to Goodwill. So whatever they don't take at these two places, we'll probably put in the goodwill bins as well because we're sick of seeing it it's not really stuff i want to list on online on ebay and stuff yeah and then yeah while we're gone i'll just list these on free on facebook marketplace hope someone can use them for jbf or something like it yeah but yeah that's the plan so far maybe some thrifting today i don't know so we're gonna load up those bins and then we're gonna head out all right so we just pulled up to once upon a child you can kind of see over there and people are lined up so <laughs> this place it opens at nine it is not, it just turned nine yeah um and so everybody's ready to take their stuff to sell it's a consignment store right so yeah, and they're like i know they used to like take stuff all day any day um, mm -hmm. now they're like first come first serve and they i feel like if you even get there at 10 they're pretty much full for the day right. so we try to be here right at nine hopefully <laughs> so, the people in front of us are not already gonna make it full right. before us but they were here first anyway, yeah. so, <laughs> so. Um, but we're going to get in line and drop the stuff off and then, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what, hopefully we get in. Yeah. All right, so, so we did just drop it off. They said, what, till about 1130? So, that is quite a while. Well, Play-Doh's doesn't open till 10. Yeah. So maybe get a little breakfast or something. Yeah, we haven't eaten yet, so we're going to probably stop and get a little breakfast together. I did also want to mention that this is actually a pretty decent way to get started in reselling. If you have not uh, started or don't really have funds to start, you can go to like the bins if you have a little bit of money and um, source some kids items, bring it to somewhere like this, or you know, even like Plato's Closet, right? You could bring stuff directly to Plato's Closet and you can have cash the same day. Bins are garage sales, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, when we, we've mentioned this a few times, but we have a lot of new viewers. When we first started reselling, even before like reselling that we knew, like mm -hmm. online reselling, um, our neighborhood, someone in our neighborhood was having like this huge sale to like raise money to go on a mission trip or something. Yeah. So. Like, so many people from their church donated them, like, so much stuff. They couldn't sell half of it. I mean, they sold a lot of it, mm -hmm. and there were still piles and piles and piles of clothes, which it wasn't their stuff, so they weren't, they didn't really care yeah. about it. They were going to donate it, and so I was just like, how much for all of yeah. it? And I feel like she only charged me, like, $40 maybe for everything that was there. Like, it was me not picking through it, you know, right, first, right. and just saying, I'll take it all. She said $40. It was, I'm going to say, like, eight or ten huge black trash bags full, mm -hmm. so... It was kids' clothes. And at that clothes. point, they were just trying to kind of yeah, to clear it all out. Yeah, they had the garage right? sale for yeah. the whole weekend. Probably made a lot of yeah. money. Um, so we kind of went and cleaned up. They were just going to take it to Goodwill. Anyway. Exactly. So I was like, okay, $40. Yeah. And then I brought stuff here. 
This actually used to be half once upon a child, half closed mentor. You can yeah, you can kind of see. Uh, but they closed closed mentor a year or so ago and knocked down the wall between and made this a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, anyways, I had brought it to once upon a child and closed mentor and I feel like I made a few hundred dollars just that first day off of the $40 investment. Right. And then that's kind of when my, my wheels started turning <laughs> like, oh, I could do this more often. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of a little... Uh, Ginger Marvin history, I guess, <laughs> kind of how we, one of the one of the big yeah, I, reasons I is why we got started it, in this, like, yeah. How it was because we also sold a couple just random tables from a garage yeah. sale, like yeah. ten into fifty, and just then started doing small things like that, yeah. and then turned it into list fifteen yeah. items a day every day on eBay <laughs> and make some real real income. So yeah. Anyway, I'm getting hungry. Let's go get some <laughs> breakfast, and then we'll check back in a little bit later. All right, guys, so we're at Play-Doh's Closet, and this is the stuff we're gonna be bringing in. Yeah, just a few shoes, and then uh, just random, mostly bins finds that I've never even listed right. yet. Um, so honestly, I might actually, if they don't take them, keep a few to list myself. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't sold to Play-Doh's in, I wanna say like five or 10 years, so. All right, so we just left Plato's closet. Yeah. Found some good stuff. So how much did they spend? How much did they pay for that stuff that we showed them? So they gave us for only six items, forty-four, forty-two, and like I think we got some footage of the items. We yeah. Previous, so it was like the most random stuff. So we have a whole bin full still. Yeah. What they didn't take, but what they did take was like one pair of Nike shoes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a fanny pack, just a random East Sport fanny pack. Um, a North Face, like um, just like an athletic top that was women's, which I've had that listed in my online stores for years, and nobody wanted it. Right. Um, so they took that, and then just like a random denim and flower. I don't even know where that's sold. It's like a, I don't think it's expensive or anything. Mm. Um, and I think we got that for free from someone. I think that's only five items. I couldn't see what the six item was, but they said six items. So. Anyways, paid us 41, uh, 44, 44, 42. And then when you like trade in, it doesn't charge you tax on the items that you're buying first. So, right. Um, yeah. So I spent an extra $20 and 11 cents, although two of the items in here are for Chris. So like those were like $14 of the 20. Yeah. So almost basically traded an even trade out for like the $40 they gave me for this new stuff, which that is going to make sell. me way more than $40. Oh yeah. Um, but then I, so like they keep one shoe in the back. So as they were looking for shoes, I found these Patagonia shorts, which was a separate sixteen dollars charge. So. Right. Anyways, these Patagonias, I'm not gonna, I mean, make a huge profit, but they'll probably sell in a day or two. They're women size large baggies. Uh, yeah. So they were sixteen. They'll probably sell for like thirty five. Yeah. Um, and you're saying that, that'll probably be a pretty quick flip. Yeah, too. that's why I was willing to pay it. I also yeah. was so close to having a twenty percent off coupon at Plato's. Um, and I want to have one next time I go. So yeah. I was just like, yeah, if I spend 10 more dollars, I'll get my last point. And then next time I'll have 20% off. So I do that at Play-Doh sometimes. I'll buy stuff even to make a low profit just to get the the points to the get a discount. Yeah. And then I'll go do like a bigger haul um, mm -hmm. to where I get 20% off everything. So this, I didn't get any percent off except for the money that we traded in. Right. Um, okay. I'm going to roll my window down because it is <laughs> hot. It is getting hot here. I don't know how you are wearing a sweatshirt. Oh, it's a little chillier this morning. <laughs> uh, these are nice, some nice Hey Dudes. Um, and they only charged $8 for these. And these are men's size 8. Um, so yeah. 
pretty cool black little rainbow on the back. Yeah, we were thinking they might not have had them because they took this a little while the to find them. This was they were taking forever and like yeah. three times they come back out and saying they can't find it. They need a ginger Marvin inventory <laughs> system back there. They're using the Commonwealth flipper <laughs> system back. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, he's just, he's literally just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, those will probably sell for around $40 plus ship. They never price up their Cole Hans at this store, which I love. So these are basically brand new Cole Han, like a really nice leather, just Oxford. They were nine dollars. Sweet. Um, men's size eight. So those will probably be at least forty as well, maybe a little more. Love that color. These are an Adidas uh, weightlifting shoe. Basically, look like they've been worn probably once or something. These ones were priced at twenty, but um, I think I screenshot the comps. They were. I feel like they were going for anywhere from like seventy to a hundred pre-owned. So. Mm. I could turn 20 into 70. I'd be pretty happy about that. Yeah. These are, I thought they were men's even though they were in the women's, but they do seem to be women's. They're nine and a half. So, yeah. That's awesome. And these, um, they didn't price up. They're just Echo, which I love selling Echo. Um, I think these will go for at least 40 as well. They had them priced at 12. See, these are the kind, like, I don't even mind paying up for stuff, like even $20 for these. Right. These are just, I'm going to go take a few photos and list them. Yeah. Like, I don't have to do a single. I don't have to wipe numbers off the bottom. I don't have to yeah. do anything. So, like, I could have these all listed within less than an hour. And their stickers are pretty easy to take yeah. off. They're um, not so very neat. invasive. And then, yeah, other than that, Chris got himself a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Uh, Sweet. I did get the text from Once Upon a Child that they're done, that they're done too. So, okay. yeah, we'll just head back there and... Let's see if they'll give us $35 or not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to head over to once. You want a coffee on the way? Maybe on the way after. On the way after. All right. <laughs> we've been trying to give up coffee, but every once in a while when we're out and about, yeah. we try to get, well, we've we been, don't try. We've we just, been at home most of the week, so this yeah. will be like a little treat today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go to Once Upon a Child. All right, guys, we've made it to Goodwill, but we wanted to let you know how much they paid us at Once Upon a Child. They didn't give me a receipt, but I quickly snapped a picture of one because I knew they weren't going to give me one. Yeah, it's weird that they don't give you a receipt. I wonder if, well, because, so at Once Upon a Child, I didn't do the direct trade because I had a 20% off coupon. And we bought a lot of stuff, like two bags worth. That yeah. was like $200, basically. So I wanted that. Instead of like just the tax, which is like 8% off, I wanted the 20% off. So I just took the cash instead of trading. And yes. For that reason, they didn't give me a receipt. Uh, 9686. You can't see that. It's so sunny out here, but yeah. What 9686. 9686. Yeah, nice. this bin was, I mean, was you full. probably saw it was full to the top. And this is all they did not take. So, so just a few things which. Very happy. They took 64 items. Which, yeah, it was mostly just like leftovers of JBF, which I've made my money several times over yeah. at that. Maybe yeah. a couple of our kids' items, which if I'm reselling it to once upon a child, that means I probably bought it from there in the first place, so I didn't pay much for them. Then there's a few pairs of shoes that just weren't quite good enough to list online or not worth it to me. So Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, since we're at Goodwill, we do already have some donations in our trunk. We're going to kind of add probably most of this into that now. Yeah. The Play-Doh's bin, they only took six items, like we said, for 44, so, like, this bin is still, still completely full. full, but I don't know if that's, so we might donate some of that, too. I did say on Play-Doh's, I feel like at the beginning of the video I said, you know, this is stuff we don't want to deal with, but then I remembered some of this stuff never has been listed online. Yeah. And it came from the bin, so I might pull out a few things to try to sell myself, but some of this was my old clothes, 
So yeah. <laughs> figure out what to donate. We're gonna donate it. We'll probably quickly look around Goodwill, but it's getting late. We gotta yeah. go home and ship at least. Yeah, it is. Oh, right now it is o'clock. almost one o'clock. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head in right now. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe find. I don't know, spend 15, 20 minutes max. Yes. Right, Max? <laughs> as long as I can look through all the shoes. <laughs> and uh, and then we'll see what we find, and then we'll come back out, and then we'll run through the drive through on the way out. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did get coffee. <laughs> we had to. It's so hot. It is hot, and Kathy's wearing a sweater. I, I, just, like, I like bringing a coffee in Goodwill. I'm weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. So let's go see what we find. <laughs> All right, we just finished up at Goodwill and we did a little bit of organizing as far as what we're gonna be donating because yeah. that's all back there. But <laughs> We definitely took more than 15 minutes in the store <laughs> though too. It's been about an hour, 15 yeah. minutes. I'll show you guys what we've got. We've got a few things for ourselves. Um, yeah. Most, well, and a few things to sell. I just thought this was cool. It's just like an old school Nike like- Trapper keeper? Binder, yeah. <laughs> and it was only priced at $1.49. I think I can get at least twenty dollars or more for this. It just reminded me of like when we were younger, which is kind of popular right now. Yeah. So that other than that, it was mainly shoes. Just a few pairs. Oh, I got these. I don't know if we're gonna keep them for Chris or sell them or honestly, honest honestly, even if they're real. <laughs> yeah. Um I kind of found these right as we were checking out, so I didn't have time to look them up, but they were only $2.99. They're Oakley. I'll have to look up this model number. But on this side, they say something RX. I Oakley feel like this RX. is the doctor that the person got them from. But Maybe, it's also yeah. weird that that's on the Oakleys themselves. So. Right. Anyways, worst case, uh, Chris gets his prescription made and put into them. And he just has a nice pair of glasses. So. Yeah. I'm looking at my Oakleys that I'm wearing yeah, right now. Yeah, I mean, but... I, I used to work at the eye doctor. And they feel real. They feel good. They're, yeah, they're nice, heavy. They're definitely prescription. And I feel like... Well, here, let me try them on. Let's see what they look like on me. So these are what I have right now. These are my old glasses. Yeah, these, the prescription in these is pretty, here, can you take that tag off? <laughs> Sorry, I had to take the tag off because it was tickling me, but this is, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking, well, they're all smudged because I just put my fingerprints yeah. on them. I can't, I'm getting cross-eyed because they're, those <laughs> prescript, that prescription is heavy. That is heavy. It's a strong one. Um. Yeah, well, let me know. Should I keep them? <laughs> <laughs> if not, um, yeah, we'll definitely take out the lenses. If they're real, we'll take out the lenses and should be able to get a decent amount just on the frame. Yeah. Um, worst case, we lost $3 there. Yeah. And other than that, we got some Sam Edelman Circus. I don't always pick up this brand. This is only $3.99. I think they're they're faux leather and they're a women's six. Yeah. But I think at least 20 and this is a good time of year to sell these. <laughs> This is becoming one of my favorite brands lately. Oh yeah, the Naote. Naote. Um, so these were nine. They should sell for, I would say, at least 40 plus ship. These, I don't know if you guys saw them in there. We try to get some footage. Really nice free people sandals. $7 and two. I didn't look them up, but probably a good amount since they're in such good shape. And I even tried them on and they fit me. So if you don't see them in my <laughs> shop, that's why. Uh, these are cool. Some Hello Kitty Converse. Really good shape. Yeah. There are women's nine. Um, hoping for at least 40 on those plus shipping. These are just some basic sketchers, but I do pretty well with sketchers, especially like black and they're really good shape. Uh, and last one is a pair of like men's Echo. I just need a tiny little wipe down, but a really nice soft leather high top. Good shape on the bottom. I just need some wiping on here, which is easy to do. Yeah. Well, not too bad. Yeah. Pretty decent. For an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we do have some stuff in the trunk that we need to donate. So we're going to drive through, do that, head home. And we have a little bit of shipping to do. Um, yeah. I actually have a video I need to edit. 
so we yeah we spend more time out than we we spent a little bit yeah the last two, couple of days we spent a lot of time <laughs> in doing stuff that's so d- that happens with everybody though right you go out so you like, say oh i'll spend an hour or two I know, so i'm just saying i'm just defying our time away from the, <laughs> the office <laughs> yeah no it's so. definitely been worth it so yeah. um yeah we'll go hit up the uh donation line and then we'll see you guys at home What you doing, Reese? <laughs> you don't have to get up. Really? Anyway, we uh oh you gotta get the tummy rubs. <laughs> oh bless you. Gave him sneezes. <laughs> Kathy has got her shipping done and ready to go. And it's about time to go pick Barely up the kids. Yeah, it's three thirty five, they get home in five minutes, so yeah. <laughs> And I'm just over here working on our latest video. It's going up today. So she's going to go do that. I'm going to knock out this video. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know if you liked this kind of video with a thumbs up. And give us a comment if you don't mind. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. I think we're less than 500 subscribers away. So if you've been watching us and you haven't subscribed yet... Um, do us a favor and hit that subscribe. And yeah, we'll have more videos like this coming down the line soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.